Okay, everyone, welcome back to my Angular tutorial. Today, I want to uh, do a short video on routing, and we're going to use the routing module to make this happen. And the routing module is very simple to use. If you went through my initial steps on setting your Angular project, it's already included free of charge, so you don't have to uh, run any type of installation package or anything. All we had to all we had to do is answer the question yes when they asked you do you want to include Angular routes and this is why with Angular routing there's two things you got to keep in mind there's going to be a path which is a string that matches a URL in our address bar and then there's going to be the component that you actually want to forward to uh, that the router should create when you navigate to to the path so let's let's uh, let's do a real simple example. Uh, and then we could do it in our in our uh, HTML file. So let's create a route. I'm going to create a, a real simple route where so in this array I'm going to add my object path with the property. We'll just call it um, C uh, eh, initial. You can see initial, and then this will forward to my component called uh, hello world component okay so notice how I didn't import anything and then when I referenced my hello world component it automatically added line 3 to my route so that, that was that's pretty cool that's pretty cool it's intelligent enough to realize that um, the next thing we want to do is we actually want to create another path that if somebody goes to the root of our, of our application it's actually going to go to this hello world component it's sort of a default and I'll show you what happens in a little bit so our path is going to be blank and we can say redirect to and we're going to redirect to our previous route with, which is initial okay so we'll do that um, and then we're just gonna hit something called a path match which is gonna do it basically basically telling it to do a prefix and path match on your route so there's a couple of matching strategies that the routing module gives to us with this particular property and this is I believe this is by default so prefix tells us that the match for that path is going to occur when the remainder of the URL uh, that we specify will match this path uh, and there's other types of strategies that you can use you can use a path match full uh, a pre I believe prefix um, and that's that's those are the, all the ones that I am aware of currently. So by default, it uses prefix, uh, and it does ha does not have to be declared explicitly. Uh, but I thought I, I'd be best to show you what different the different property that where you use a path match and what it does, because you may see this in other code. So you may you may have a so this is really cool because you can put a path match as a prefix and you can have match on on multiple paths to go to um, which only matches the, uh, the prefix of the uh, remainder of the URL and that will allow us to actually route uh, it's it's similar to a like kind of like a like in an SQL query so again, um, we have the option to, to do a, either a full match or a, a prefix. Okay, so let's um, so now that we set up a route here, um, let's take a look at what happens actually when we um, when we redirect. So if I save all, okay. Um, so let's uh, let's go here. I'm gonna ng serve this. And I'm going to go to Chrome. Let's see that. Okay. 
so let's go to localhost. So notice how if I do localhost, um, my it's going to do a match on my path, which is going to be blank because there's nothing after the the domain. So it's going to do it after the forward slash. So now if I press enter, see how it went to initial. So initial is my friendly URL and because that is because we told it that when there is a blank path, I want you to redirect to our path name called initial, which in turn has this redirect here. Uh, and it says to use this component as the um, as the page that you want to you want to redirect to. Okay, so and then if we t obviously if we type in the word initial on the URL, then we will come to this particular page as well. So if I wanted to create another page to link to, I can define my link here in my HTML page, and then we can do a reader an href and define a, a a route for that path so let's do that let's do that real quick hold on a second let's do that real quick uh, I'm gonna create the files and then I will uh, I will show you how that's done hold give me let's pause the video for one second alright so as we continue so the what I did was uh, I added another component called second second link uh, and it's similar to what we did on the first component that we added. We created a selective for it. We told it what our template URL is in our style sheet. And then I just created the title. I created my my class name. And then my HTML says uh, second navigation in my application. The one thing that I did do is I removed the route for initial page because I don't want to have that uh, I don't want my initial page to be in the route anymore because I'm using so picture you have a login page and then you have a header where on the header you have a couple of menu links so what you want to do in this particular case is you want to click on a menu link on the top and then have the the routing go to a different page so let me show you how how that works but one other important important note that I that I did change was on the hello world.html which is now our still our boot up page I, I added this the selector tag which is part of the routing so what this does is it will create a space here below where my second page will load so the idea here is when you build your app is you'll have a couple of links right up here and if you click on this link this would change if you click on the next link over here then this would change to a different page and then again you would have you know multiple uh, menu items on top uh, where if you click on each one your your content below would change automatically now um, so that so I did that with uh, we're doing that with that we don't need to include anything else and then when I link to my second page I'm using this uh, angular router link directive here uh, which will allow me to if I if I click on if I click on this navigate link below it's now that's gonna work with the routing so once I click on that it's gonna look up under the routing module so if we go back to the routing module it's gonna look for second page and then it will render the HTML and every all the particular logic that we need for that yeah uh, and that's basically it I mean so once I load my page so so this is my initial page which is bootstrapped and then I have my menu item called navigate link below and if you look at my hello world right I have welcome to 
my app, blah, blah, blah. And now I have a link that says navigate link below. This, when I click on this, it will render right below. And you're going to see that in a minute. So the HTML from the second page, which says second navigation in my application, will just render below. So if you see that, this renders right below. And then we also change the actual URL to another route. So as you click on each link, it's going to navigate to to the particular route that um, that is binded to that component. And that's that's basically how how routing would work. Now, um, in more advanced videos, you probably would want uh, perhaps a login page because you're probably not going to be at this page yet. And we're going to get to that point where you're going to have a login page and then you click on login and then the page completely will change to perhaps this particular page that shows all your menus uh, with your items. And then if you click on logout, then this would would swap with similar to a location.ref where you would just route them to another page uh, and you won't have this particular uh, component routing that we are doing now. This is very simple stuff. Again, we got to learn how to walk before we learn how to run. So I just kind of want to introduce you how how routing works and how easy it was. How easy it was to uh, to do that. Again, just in summary, I added a second link component. Don't forget to when you add your component, don't forget to declare it in your declarations, right? Uh, import it from where your file location is from, and then you would hook it up um, where you want it. So anywhere you where you want to route you would have to you would have to have a uh, the routing tag if you want to just statically route it now if you want to programmatically route it that's that's another story we'd have to do it uh, in the component itself so that we can route away from the page uh, and that would go into our um, in our in our class itself and it, you would have to bind an event Okay, hopefully you uh, you picked up some things on routing. Uh, next video, I will go into injection of uh, directives and how to create uh, a, an input, uh, an input with properties where you can bind data to it. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, please try and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers by June. Uh, thanks very much.